we're all in quarantine, we gotta find things to do with our time. One of the things that everyone seems to be taking to doing is baking. It gets you through the day, it's something to do, and it makes you a delicious treat. Anyone who's ever been to a Doubletree by Hilton Hotel knows their cookies. They're delicious, they're warm, they're scrumptious, the chocolate just explodes in your mouth. They were actually the first food cooked in space. They've kept the recipe a secret for years, but a couple days ago, Hilton finally released the real recipe. So today, we are gonna try to make those cookies. And I've got all the ingredients laid out here to do just that. We have half a pound of butter, three quarters cups of sugar, three quarters cups of brown sugar, two large eggs, one and a quarter teaspoons of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice, two and a quarter cups of flour, a half a cup of rolled oats, one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of cinnamon, one and three quarter cups of chopped walnuts, and of course, two and two thirds cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Delicious. So you're gonna start by preheating your oven to 300 degrees. Make sure the butter is softened. I'm gonna start by creaming the butter, the sugar, and the brown sugar in my stand mixer right here. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this by hand. Oh, this is so soft. The sugar and the brown sugar. And then cream that on medium speed for two minutes. Woo, I could just eat this mixture and be happy. I'm gonna stop about halfway through to scrape some of this off of here because it's not mixed perfectly and then finish it up for another 30 seconds or so. And that is two minutes. So next we're gonna add the eggs, the vanilla and the lemon juice. Some vanilla, whoop. Quarter teaspoon of lemon juice shot for you. And Shot for me. All right, and then we mix this together for about 30 seconds on low speed, so. Oh yeah. After about 30 seconds, you're gonna wanna turn this up to medium speed and beat it until it's light and fluffy. And that'll be about two minutes. But what would happen if you made pasta out of cookie dough? Imagine chocolate chip noodles. It'd be disgusting. All right, this is looking light and fluffy. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna wanna add the flour. Adding the flour in. Ooh. So you're gonna wanna put this on low speed with adding the flour, the oats, the baking soda, the salt, and the cinnamon. Flour, oats, salt, baking soda, and a pinch of cinnamon. And then don't over mix this, just do this for 45 seconds. Once that is all mixed together, I am going to remove it from the mixer and make sure all this dough goes into the bowl. Ooh, that's so fluffy. Dough off this hook mostly. The rest I'm just gonna lick off of it. Mmm, would anyone judge me if this recipe was halved because I ate half the dough? Take this off the mixer, and then we're gonna pour in the chocolate chips and the walnuts. Let's do that. I'm gonna mix it all together. This is my mixing song. <laughs> this is like 50% chips. You're gonna wanna line your cookie sheet with parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, this is something you absolutely should get. I used to bake without parchment paper and it is a life changing thing. You never get cookies that are stuck to the tray and it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Portion out your cookies with an ice cream scoop. Uh, it's just an easier way to do that. I'm a Vermont boy, so I gotta use my Ben & Jerry's ice cream scoop. Out onto your parchment paper, about an inch to an inch and a half apart from each other. I'm gonna take my, my fork and I'm gonna push them down just a little bit. If your hands are covered with cookie dough, that's just an excuse to lick them later. Baking tip. I did not space these out as well as I should have, so there's only gonna be six on this full tray. Each cookie should be about three tablespoons. I think I went a little bit overboard on these, but I don't care, I like my cookies big. Then you're gonna wanna put them in the oven once it's preheated for about 20 to 23 minutes. Oh, that's hot. Hot air. And now we wait. All right, Woo! those are some beautiful cookies. I'm so excited to eat them, but we have to wait for them to cool, which is the hardest part of making cookies.
That's a good cookie. If you want to make these yourself, there is a recipe in the video description. Let us know how they turn out. You won't be disappointed. These are really good cookies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay inside and stay safe. Hey, Will. Oh, oh. Yeah, it actually tastes just like it. That's unbelievable. It's really good.